Welcome to Sports Circle 345. A pleasant good evening, or good night, or good afternoon, wherever you're watching this video, or whenever you're watching this video. I was watching some clips today of Penn Relay's Jamaica versus the United States, and I thought it was rather interesting. So I said, I'll just do a little video and compile them and show them past races, you know, exciting races. There have been a few clashes in the days. I know there are other teams involved, but Jamaica versus the United States is always at the top of the chart. So I just want to show you some of those races that I was watching. And let's enjoy them together. So I'll not. Okay, the race started. Okay, this is the Jamaican quartet. I will be running. A German Amintan. Julian Fort. Julian Fort will be running the Uncle Leg. This should be a very interesting race. We have the Americans inside here. Uh, Namibia. Saint Kitts and Nevis. Lane Seven. And their marks. Definitely, we can expect a great performance. But Team USA, barring any handoff exchanges, should be the, the leader at the end of this race today. Pretty large crowd, and they are off. Seem to be a false start. Oh. Okay. On their marks again. USA Blue in lane nine. And they are off. Seem to be pretty even. And the Jama the Americans they are gaining ground on the Jamaicans. Oh, that second leg seemed to be Justin Gatlin. And he hands off to Tice Gay. But Jamaica and the United States neck and neck. Oh, they seem to be a fumble by the Americans. Mm. Jamaican sped home in victory. Ooh. Congratulations, good win. We have seen that a few times a few times with the Americans fumbling the button. Thinking 2022, we saw them fumble the button too. And in 2021, show me their about. Let's see what happened. Tyson K ran up on the runner. Tyson is the incoming runner, the outgoing runner. They seem to be. It was just a terrible mix up. Very unfortunate. You start reaching your hand around. Isaiah was looking for it, grabbing for it. You can't get the hand in because two people are trying to. As I said, we are watching the Penn Relays, Jamaica versus the United States versus the rest of the world. No, we are watching the females. I think this is a four by two hundred meters. Look around Stewart, one of those athletes, very versatile, 4 by one 4 by Anisha 2 Anisha McLaughlin. She's one of those Blockman. days with Jamaican, Jamaican relay team. Very much like the... Uh, Anisha McLaughlin. Like Tyson Gay or Justin Gatlin from the U.S. Team. And the U.S. squad in lane 8, Candice McGraw, Taylor Whitney, Timberland Duncan, and Cambria Jones. Here we'll get Jenny's to see McLaughlin. Are the United States. And we are under way. This is a 4x200. Seem to be a pretty evil. Right even on the 
And pretty even between Team USA and Jamaican, Ron Stewart for the Jamaicans on the second leg. As Whitney will now come off the turn out in that lane eight position, trying to hold on to the advantage. Coming into the straight, the American is powering away. This leg should be interesting. Very even between Jamaica and the US on that third exchange. Yeah, and Jamaican is right up on the American. And look to go past her, but the American is doing just enough to hold her up there. Just enough. Oh, there was a slip there. American is powering away down the track, chased by the Jamaican. And the US women win their second consecutive against the world. Wonderful win. Brilliant race. There. No team from Jamaica has ever won this event at the Ken Relays. And that boggles the mind because when you think of the history of Jamaica, men, boys and girls, men and women at these championships, the fact that no Jamaican team has ever won this event to me is quite astounding. Away for the college men's 4x100 championship of America. And UTEC is out to a very, very good start. They're fourth. Fairly the easy. Left. Here's the first exchange. Fairly, fairly easy. At the front, all the Starting to stretch it in lane eight. Here comes St. Augustine's. But a couple of low, lanes lower down. UTEC is looking solid. And you're going to hear this Jamaican crowd because UTEC right now has a slight lead with one pass to go. UTEC in the lead. UTEC coming through strong on the inside. This is history about to be changed. No Jamaican team has ever won this event in the history of the Ken Relays. And now that is history Fort. because they have. It's Uncle. History. And friends here. Team very, very one. Time. Wonderful. Time time. Now the females on track. We have USA red and USA blue. We are sporting two teams. And four and five and Jamaica and six. Fairly easy first exchange. Jamaica seem to take a chunk out of the, out of the field. And she's running away. I think that's Morrison. We ran the first leg. Americans have this one in the bag for early. No challenge, no competition. Right there. We are watching the pen relays. Jamaica versus America versus the rest of the world. This is a race to the finish. Nice the one by the Americans. Wonderful. That young man has been around for a little while. One for America. USA to victory at the World Championships last year. Set.
Underway here at Franklin Field at the Penn Relays. Four by 100 meter. Jamaica out strongly in lane number six. First, First exchange. button change. And that looks like Jamaica. And that's Karan Stewart there on the back stretch. She looks fantastic. Karan Stewart now 34 years old. Has been here quite a bit. Not sure about that handoff there from second to third, but they're still in the lead. USA trying to close the gap with Destiny also. Brown on the inside in lane five. And it could be a good battle here on the final exchange. Less than 100 meters to go. Jamaica and the United States strive for New to the state. This is Drew Nick Levy and, and Kyra Jefferson. Ooh. And Jamaica will take the opening battle. And you can that one. And a great start to USA versus the world. That was a very Jamaica close race. Jamaica takes the victory in 43-14. Certainly a crowd-pleasing victory as you heard the chants of Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica before the race and only the sixth time. Clearly, wide open race. It's a good ice Let's see what the leaders know. Oh, wonderful finishing speed from the young lady in black and white, or blue and white there. Mark the finishing speed. It's almost in with our end. And there we have it. Pen relays pass races between America, Jamaica, and the rest of the world. Now there was some interesting clashes over the years, and this was just a synopsis of some of those races. Thank you for watching Sports Circle 345. We aim to bring you news, both past and present and future. Stick with the channel. God bless you. Peace out.